Welcome back to the JB Digital Channel where we think it, make it, test it. And in today's video, I thought it would be cool to make a pressure chamber. I plan on using this for multiple builds like a Spider-Man web shooter, an air-powered flower mine, and yes, even the JB Digital Mark II Iron Man gauntlet, which will hopefully be filled of air-powered gadgets. But if you want to see those, make sure to punch that subscribe button so you always can stay up to date on our videos. But anyway, let's get into today's video, the pressure chamber itself. Where out of a press of a button, you can release a high wave of high pressure air. So for this project, we're actually going to need a few special parts to make this work. We're going to need two PVC end caps rated NSF, a pressure gauge, preferably one that maxes out between 200 and 300 psi, a solenoid valve, a tank valve, and finally, NSF PVC. This is a special type of PVC that's meant for handling high pressures, so you're going to try this yourself, be safe, and have the right equipment. So now that we got all our supplies, let's make it! Alright, so far so good. The tank seems to hold the air without any issues. Well, one issue. The solenoid valve I currently have on there, it's rated for over 100 psi, but weirdly it doesn't seem to work with anything over 30, so for now I just threw a ball valve on there. This will however still work for a cannon. Yes, I'm building another cannon, but air powered, meaning it's harder, better, faster, stronger. Yeah, that's a, it's a, it's a little joke there. Yeah, it's a, it's a song. The pressure chamber works by holding whatever air you put in it. You can fill the tank using the tank valve located on one of the end caps. Next to that, I have a pressure gauge so we know how much air is in the tank. This is a crucial part so we don't cause the tank to explode upon having too much pressure in it. Theoretically, we could hold up to 260 psi in this tank, but to keep it on the safe side, I'm only gonna be roughly holding 100 to 120 psi in it. You know, just, just be safe. Finally, we have the exit valve. This is where the air flows out. Like I said before, I currently just have a ball valve on ta attached on there, and to open it, it's as easy as turning it. Be because that's exactly what you do. Enough explaining though, let's go slap the barrel on it and go test it. Stop the clocks that are not such a subtle sound, such a point of view. Alright, I hope you enjoyed that little montage, but now that we know it works good, what's the plan for it? Like I said, I plan on using this in a bunch of different builds, so make sure to stay tuned because I have so many cool ideas to use this for future projects. Do you have any ideas for the tank? Let me know down in the comments below, and if it's possible, I'll give it a try, and I'll give you a shout out in the video. Do you want to stay up to date on JB Digital projects? Make sure to follow us on Twitter and TikTok, because I'm constantly posting what I'm working on there. And yes, both links are down in the description below. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button. And remember, think it, make it, test it. Stop See you in the next the one. Clock.
clocks better not such a subtle sound, such a point of 